Hello everyone, and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today it's one of my replays and I'm in the Moskva at year 10 Russian cruiser. I'm on the map north, it's a free domination game, tier 10 battle with unfortunately a carrier. Now we have seen two destroyers coming into the cap, I could raid it but I'm not gonna do it just yet, I'm gonna let them get a little bit closer. Meanwhile I'm busy shooting some enemy cruisers, unfortunately I won't have a... Uh, an opportunity to actually shoot those destroyers right now because uh, the island will block that but uh, my friend Viper most certainly can now Viper has started engaging them and now one of the enemies is uh, in concealment which means I'm gonna raid at them and Viper can just smoke up here in his daring and then keep pew pewing them right the sense smoke will do nothing we also have the Harlem and the Missouri who might even help and i'm trying to reverse to get some shots off as well so yeah the island unfortunately blocked that but the set is about to go down and oh it actually got talked <laughs> i suppose it would have died either way but uh yeah set is taken care of Shima, well, I did get a hit there in the end, so at least there is that. Unfortunately, I couldn't reposition faster, so... Uh... Oh, well. We will get the Shima in the future. Meanwhile, uh, back to those cruisers, right? So we have the Hipper coming this way. And... I'm not sure what its plan is. It doesn't seem to be a battleship or anything really to back up the tier. There is the San Martin in the back. I am using a Hydro here. The Shimmer isn't quite close enough to get caught by the Hydro, I'm afraid. But it is fleeing this way and it might be torpedoing me there in the future. So I have to be careful. The Hippo is burning quite nicely and yeah, it's probably not even needed to shoot some more here. It just burns to death. Now the San Martin is pushing in, interestingly. The biggest threat here right now are torpedoes, right? Those, those are the, the Hindenburg, uh, not him, whatever this, this cruiser's torps. <laughs> what was it again? Was it the hit? Anyway, they were only six kilometers, so they never had a chance to reach me. A threat would be if the Shimmer is going far enough to talk me. But I can see some shells coming from here, so the Shimmer seems to be there as well, right? Now also, really, San Martin isn't that well armored. I should be getting citadels here, but, well, I'm only getting overpens. There is my citadel, and the San Martin is almost dead. Now, can we sink it? And the answer is no, it's super healing. Now, that's a shame. I, I, <laughs> I already wanted to go back to high explosive. Because my radar is ready again and I was thinking of farming the Shimmer. But uh, the San Martin is, uh, is just refusing to sink. Now I need the radar anyway because the San Martin is also in consumer. And at this point I'm switching back to high explosive. I'm giving up on the San Martin. It's also um, one ricochet free over pens. Yeah. Let's get some shots into the Shimmer, try to sink that. Obviously my shells fall short because that's just what shells do in this game. Let's try aiming slightly higher and still only two hits. Well, if RNG doesn't like you, RNG doesn't like you, I guess. But this Shimmer is... Oh no! Now we're talking, now we're talking. Four hits and a fire. The Shimmer is getting low. Now it has escaped my radar, but little does the Shima know, it's running straight into Viper, because Viper is there to intercept him. Meanwhile, the San Martin has no longer vision at me, it's still shooting somewhere here, and there are lots of birds in the air. Now we do have a... Whatever this is, our cruiser here pushing into the 10 line. I'm not sure if that cruiser is spotting the San Martin or if Viper is. Uh, Viper did take care of that destroyer, by the way, so that's good news. Now we need to sink that San Martin. 
that will free us up to help the other side. By the way, we've also lost our carrier because I don't know why the carrier was there. Probably one of those carriers that hasn't figured out yet that it can actually move. Now, I'm gonna try some armor piercing because the Sarmatin is fully broadside. I also should be careful because it has reasonable torpedo range and I'm... Uh, at least I thought uh, there's some other... Like, there are so many ships in this game that I forget half of what ships are capable of. But I thought San Martin has some reasonable torpedo range, so I probably don't want to get any closer that way. Instead, I'm gonna reverse, and then I'm gonna go aside. Technically, this Alvaro is in range. I could have tried shooting it, maybe, but I don't think I'm gonna hit... But, you know, honestly, it's like I'm not losing anything. I am fully broadside to all of those ships, but, uh, yeah. I've come to the same conclusion. I should be shooting this Alvaro. Like, I am technically broadside, but the Marseille and the Stalingrad are still far enough away. And I actually got a hit. A good one at that. Well, considering the range, that was a very good hit. So, yeah, I'm not really in danger here. The Alvaro is... it's still burning. And SJR has finished it. Nice. So, I'm on the way. The Litorio is not something that I can shoot from here. There is this massive mountain here just between me and the Litorio. So even if I get close enough, I'll probably not be able to help much. The Missouri took uh, some fish there, it looks like. And it's on very low health. There is no time for it. It, it could try a ram, or well, it could have tried a ram earlier. It's on way too low health right now. Especially with the plane it's also coming in, there was no way for it to survive long enough. Now, the Marseille and the Stalingrad are entering my gun range here. I could try some armor piercing and this is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure if the angle is good enough just yet but the way we, we are both sailing right the angle is getting better and better and the Marseille is obviously focusing on somebody else which does allow me to not care about my angling too much right now. Somebody is aiming at me though. Would it be the Stalingrad? Don't think so. The Marseille has turned, but it's low enough that maybe we can finish it off like that. Or, well, the Nevsky did the job. Next up, the Stalingrad. Although the Stalingrad is starting to angle right now, I suppose the torpedoes might also be a reason for that. I should really go back to high explosive here. And I'm also slowing down. I don't know exactly where the battleship is, but if I push too far and that... I mean, if the battleship pushes into the B-cap, you could argue my destroyers are gonna take care of him. But still, staying behind that island will keep me protected and I won't get smacked by that battleship in some weird angle or something. So Stalingrad is finally deciding to go full broadside, armor piercing is ready, and there is my lovely citadel. Back to high explosive, just if I need another salvo to finish it off, but oh, we got a coordinated tank, that's nice. That is very nice indeed. Meanwhile, see, see the Litorio was here with this shallow part of the island. If I pushed in too far, the Litorio would have smacked my broadside while I was angled against the Stalingrad. So, good job, me. <laughs> At this point, I'm pretty confident in our victory. It's uh, five against three. The carrier is spotted and under fire. The Ragnar, well, it's a Ragnar, right? With the lack of torpedoes, it's not gonna do anything too problematic here. I'm not too afraid of it shooting me. Also, I could technically go armor piercing here, right? Since I've stepped broadside of the carrier, I guess. Well, it's fine. I mean, it's slow health anyway. 
Now I am on fire myself here. The Ragnar is within my radar range, but there is no point in radaring it if I can't shoot it myself. Because there is nobody else here to really shoot it either. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until I'm detected again. And you know, now I'm detected. Now I can radar. Or. <laughs> I mean, it was shooting already anyway, so this was a fail radar. <laughs> Uh, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Either way, it's visible. I mean, it's a Ragnar, right? All it can do is try to gun me down, and it's not gonna succeed. Now, just like earlier, I'm going to slow down behind an island in order to stop the Litoria from getting shots at me. So I'll have some cover here. And once the Litoria is behind that island, I can go forward again. Or, well, I mean, we're just gonna deal with the Ragnar here. Or if RNG lets me, we're gonna deal with the Ragnar here. Come on, shells. There we go. There we go. Oh, I was almost a little bit too far forward, right? So, I had the right idea. Not a perfect execution, but uh, it's fine. Now, technically, I could still get the Kraken if I sink that battleship. Now, of course, the battleship is currently in concealment, but then again, there aren't too many ships that can shoot it right now. So, unless it eats a fish, it should survive long enough to... Oh, it's, it's gonna eat fish, right? <laughs> it's so gonna eat fish. And... Or is it? Okay. It's still reasonably healthy. It seems to be on fire. I might, there might be a chance for a Kraken. I'm almost around the island. Now, obviously, this would be sort of a kill secure, but I'm... Uh, I'd, I'd be fine with that for the Kraken. <laughs> and I'm too late. Oh, well. Four kills will do. So, Kraken was once again not unleashed, but uh, we've got the Division Kraken, so there is that. And overall, pretty decent game, I guess. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and I'll see ya next time.